Welcome to Local Fair. I'm Kyle Noonan, and with us always is Teresa Frasini. Teresa, what's on the menu today? Kyle, we have got a full plate with discussions on three more favorite DFW restaurants. Food, atmosphere, value. We'll cover it all with real reviews from real customers, not restaurant critics. That's what matters here. Honest opinions from everyday diners like you. So let's see what's cooking this week, right here on Local Fair. Our home base is my personal favorite, Bowl and Barrel, an upscale bowling alley and restaurant in the shops of Park Lane. Day or night, you can stop by for a drink, a bite to eat, or some friendly competition. Of course, we're not here to bowl, we're here to talk about food. So let's head over to the table and meet this week's guests. Okay, here's how this works. We've got three people all talking about three different restaurants. So you get nine reviews in less time than it takes to visit one. Not bad, right? Let's meet this week's guest reviewers. Courtney Harris is a sales and marketing professional from Dallas who suggested 20 feet seafood joint. Colin Harville is a consultant from Addison who wanted the group to try Kenny's wood-fired grill. And Maura Fulton lives in Plano, works in sales, and she recommended Stackhouse. We'll start this week at a casual BYOB place in East Dallas. But don't let the atmosphere fool you. Top-notch cuisine lurks just below the surface at 20 feet seafood joint. This is uh, Suzanne Fries and I'm Mark Castle. Uh, we own 20 Feet Seafood Joint, a little uh, seafood restaurant in East Dallas, located at 1160 PV Road. A simple, very approachable neighborhood seafood joint. It was inspired by a lot of the clam shacks and stuff you see in New England in the summertime especially. All of our seafood is flown in from Boston and it's, it's super, super fresh. We also have fantastic lobster rolls. Suzanne bakes the bread in-house and the meat of an entire lobster on there. Of course, some fried fish and chips, fried oysters, lots of po'boy sandwiches, and then a couple specials every day. And we wanted to have some interesting items for uh, non-seafood eaters too. So where we have uh, pork ramen noodles and uh, pork belly sandwiches. We've allowed BYOB, people really seem to enjoy that. They can bring in whatever they want. And when we do get our beer and wine license, we'll still allow the BYOB. People come in several times a week, once in a while. It's turned out to be everything that we wanted it to be. And we just have a really good time doing it. Okay, Courtney, so you recommended 20 feet. Yes. First of all, wh where is that name from? So it's actually a unique name named after the owners and their four dogs. So if you add it all up, it comes out to 20 feet. Very cute. Yeah. Why so did you really recommend cute. this restaurant? I like this it. is my favorite restaurant because I really love seafood. There's something about their tartar sauce that has a secret ingredient. I don't know what it is, but it has me coming back. Excellent. <laughs> so. Excellent. Colleen, what were you going to say? I ordered the lobster roll because based on the research I did do, yes. that was the most photographed item on the menu. Yes. You researched it? I what had, do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> There's this cool website called Yelp. <laughs> Got it. Um, where they do like little quick, quick reviews for you. And it was, I mean, I saw, lobster roll was delicious. Buttery yeah. bread, lobster was so good. really good. But I think the, what won was the shrimp and grits. I know you were talking about it as well. It was to die for. Um, Some of the best I ever had. It was Parmesan grits with blackened, Cajun blackened shrimp with, and I don't know what the sauce was. But I was, there was this some sort of shrimp creole sauce that was out of this world. Slaw on top. Okay. It was absolutely delicious. Some of the best shrimp and grits I ever had. Now, had you ever been to 20 I had never been. So what did you think when you walked in? What's the atmosphere like when you, when you get in it's there? It's small. It's a neighborhood little joint. I mean, it's a good name. I joint. It hidden gem. I love it's it. It's kind of hidden away in Casa Linda. Um, the atmosphere is really unique. So did you have to wait with it being not very many tables or do you get reservations there? I've never had a problem with the wait. Um, it moves pretty quickly. It's never been so overcrowded that you can't find a place to sit. And what was neat about the BYOB, if you brought your six pack, they brought you a bucket with ice and set it on your table for you yeah. to Put yeah. your beer in to keep it cold. Now, yeah. do they do a corking fee? Like, if you bring your own wine, do they no. charge you? Nope. No. Not at Nothing. all. No. They do have a little bowl of apples on the counter. Uh -huh. And I can't remember what the sign said specifically, but it's uh, something just about um, sharing apples. They're healthy. They're good for you. Take an apple. Uh -huh. It's quirky cute. Uh -huh. Anybody do dessert while they oh. were there? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, let, <laughs> we, Laura, we, tried all, we tried all three. Okay. We um, ordered all three. <laughs> the key lime pie 
Yeah, the key lime pie key lime there is pie. amazing. It's the metric for a good dessert. Like a good key lime pie for me is there's nothing that can beat it. And it's got to be the right amount of tart right at the, the beginning and then that sweetness on the backside. Mm -hmm. And it came out the right color, not too green. Very, very good. With the dollop of fresh whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was killer. They have some pretty fit. interesting menu items as well. We got the uh, pork banh mi po boy. Oh. Well, yeah, so it had a little, uh, little Thai <laughs> flavor in there as well. It was fantastic. Interesting. Yeah. For a seafood restaurant. That yeah, sounds great. Out of the blue. Wow. And Anything else really unique or different that you that the, you had? There? The french fries there? The french fries, yes. Um, they put a little sprig of rosemary and some garlic in it. So um, they're not your ordinary fries. Yeah. They're addicting. Full so roasted cloves. So really? not too garlicky either. Very good. Yeah. Now, what kind of place is this? Is this a date night place? Is it a lunch, a dinner? It's casual dining. So, I mean, yeah. you go in there any day after work and you'll be... A okay, no matter what you're wearing. I think it makes a great date night place. Yeah. Casual, nothing too upscale. You can bring your own wine, um, you can bring your own beer, and just enjoy, you know, a lobster roll on the patio. Yes. And you wished it was in your neighborhood so yeah. you could go. That's what's, yeah. that's what's really great about mm -hmm. it. It's right next to White, White Rock uh, Trail. Mm -hmm. So yeah. people come in in their workout clothes sometimes. Excellent. Yeah, it's yeah. very cool. Any downside that you saw to the restaurant? I can't no. think of any. No. <laughs> All right, let's rate this one then. Maura, let's start with you. Oh, I'm clearly a four and a half. Excellent. It was delicious. Yeah. Will you make the drive again? Absolutely. It'll be on the weekend this time, but I'll go back. Gotcha. I'll give it four stars. Okay. I, I enjoy myself very much, and plus, it, they don't rush you out the door, which is really nice. So you can sit and enjoy the conversation as well. Excellent. That's, good, That's good to know, especially with it being a smaller yeah. restaurant. Mm -hmm. They're not trying mm -hmm. to turn the tables. I'd say four and a half, too. It's my favorite. I always leave a little room for improvement anywhere, <laughs> but um, four and a half for sure. I love it. Well, Courtney, thank you for sharing your hidden gem with us. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, next on Local Fair, we'll find out why Colin is all fired up about Kenny's wood-fired grill. Stay with us. Comfort food with a twist in a, in a fairly upscale environment at a reasonable price. If you're looking for a truly unique entertainment experience, look no further than Bowl and Barrel, Dallas' only modern American restaurant and tavern complete with 15 state-of-the-art bowling lanes. Whether it's a casual date, a private party, or a corporate event, Bowl and Barrel is a great way to spend an afternoon or evening and the place everyone will be talking about the next day. Great food, great drinks, and great bowling. What are you waiting for? Let's roll. Bowl and Barrel, 8084 Park Lane, Dallas. Welcome back to Local Fair, where we find out what's hot and what's not in the DFW restaurant scene. Our next stop prides itself on service as well as grilled steak and seafood. You won't get raked over the coals for special requests at Kenny's Wood Fire Grill in Addison. Hi, my name is Kenny Bauer, chef and co-owner of Kenny's Wood Fire Grill. We're located here in Addison at Beltline and the Tollway in the Addison Walk Shopping Center. We're a steak and seafood house. We're not super high end, but we're nicer than your average casual place. You know, we serve, you know, steaks, chops, wood grilled burgers, seafood, lots of fresh fish, big portions, lots of flavor. And that also translates into our drinks. What would another restaurant would call a double for us is just a regular drink. It's cozy and it's a neighborhood place. We have people that come in in jeans and t-shirts. We also have people that have, you know, suits and ties. I think the one thing that really sets us apart is taking care of people, going beyond in service to make sure that each and every person leaves happy. All right, Colin, let's talk about Kenny's. You are fired up. Tell me about this restaurant. Kenny's is my go-to special occasion restaurant. I've been going there for a couple of years now, and what sets them apart more than the food, which is outstanding, yes. is the level of service you get there. They go above and beyond to take care of you, to the point where if your chilled martini glass no longer has frost on it, they'll bring you a frosty new glass and trans transfer your drink into it for you. You are kidding. I'm dead serious. That's, that's not it with service. When we were there, we had ordered wheat toast for brunch, they didn't have wheat toast, so they went out and found wheat toast and brought it. You know, I, I've never been for brunch. How is the brunch? The brunch was great. I didn't have brunch food, um, however, um, my guests did. They just had bacon and eggs and then the little potato cakes, okay. and those were really good. Um, I had the smoked mozzarella BLT, which was phenomenal. Mm, nice. It was a great choice. What is your go-to that you usually get when you go to Okay, so I always start with an appetizer. The appetizers there are phenomenal. So I start with the steak crostini, which comes with a nice little hollandaise sauce. Um, 
fantastic. The coconut shrimp are the size of your head. So you don't need to order many. You just get one or two. <laughs> I, just picture, I was just having a visual picture of that. That's a big coconut it's a, it shrimp. It is a big shrimp. <laughs> but for me, what I usually get when, not only special occasions, but for lunch, their steak sandwich, I'll order out for it on a weekly mm, basis. That looked good. It's yeah. fantastic. It comes with oh, cheese, caramelized onions, yeah. steak cooked to order, and a really, really good bread, which for me is the key to a good sandwich. The bread. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. The bread was great. Maura, what did you have when you were there? It's everything that Colin has said. It's just delicious. And I, my favorite thing to say is, how do you go wrong with Grey Goose on tap and a popover? Yeah. You sit down at the table and you get this popover that's about this big and it's warm and it's mm -hmm. fresh out of the oven with this little pad of butter sitting underneath now, it. Now, what is a popover? What is that? It's like a giant roll, dinner roll, that's airy inside and kind of crunchy yeah. on the outside. So it's not sweet. No, it's no, 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 no. Yeah, it's okay. almost a puff pastry minus the sugar. It's very Ooh, good. good. To die for. They start you off they start you off right at Kenny's. Absolutely. They set the pace. And anybody who's whose motto or theme is every day's a holiday and every meal's a feast, they they got it going on. I love it. So what are the things do you get? But once you've had your puff pastry the wedge salad, the ribs, oh, yeah. the pork chop, the mm. cream spinach. Cream I've not had a bad meal there good. ever. Mm, cream spinach sounds Oh, wonderful. it's the best. And the, the ambiance is really neat, too. Okay. It's yeah. a very small, kind of compact, but it's really dimly lit, so it kind of feels like an old lounge-style place. Yeah, it did. And everybody's dressed up kind of old-fashioned. Bow, bow ties, white shirts, long really? aprons. Oh, yeah. It's got that dark, clubby feel. Yeah, I feel like I'd yeah. see Sinatra in the corner sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but with the bow ties and the exceptional service, you just you you don't realize that you're in Dallas. You're just in this nice little hideaway on, on Beltline. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nice. And this is in Addison. Yes. Right. So you went for brunch. I did. Colin, you'll do lunch and, and order out. What's your favorite? Is it lunch or dinner, or does it matter um, for you? Dinner. I mean, dinner. You get the whole experience. For lunch, it's just you're really enjoying the food. But if you really want to have the experience of a mm -hmm. fine meal, good food, good customer service, you leave. It's hard to get you through the door when you're walking out. Okay. They yeah. they fill you up there. <laughs> What is the value like when you go? I mean, it sounds like they've got, with steak and, and all the things they have, what, what's the price point or the value of it? You can make it extremely economical if mm -hmm. you're looking to keep it low price. But if you're also looking to go above and beyond, they'll, it's not hard to. They have the range then. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Good absolutely. Range. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Any downside to it? Absolutely not. For me, as cool as the ambiance is, the tables are kind of close together. So an occasional bump from a server, always followed by an apology, but still it does happen. Sure. And of course the conversation, and it might not be as private as you want, but they do a pretty good job of monitoring it. I did notice that. It did feel a little close together, yeah. but it, I, that's really so the only thing. you like you're sitting with kind of like the people next to you, a little yeah. you could. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and it is such a popular joint that the, the bar does fill up rather quickly. So mm -hmm. if you don't have a reservation, it's gonna be hard to get in. And when you make a reservation and you give them the, the, your name, the I guess that obviously they speak to your waiter or waitress mm -hmm. who comes to your table and calls you by name. Wonderful. Throughout yeah, the whole like meal. The service is great. Mm -hmm. Let's rate this one, all right? Well, let's start with you. Oh, I have to give it a five. Okay. Easily a four and a half for me. Okay. I'd say a four. That's all great. Right. All right. And I see why you're fired up. I'm fired up. I, <laughs> I think I'm everybody to else is too. <laughs> Thanks so much, Colin. All right. When we come back, we'll take you to a burger joint that offers toppings like fried egg and roasted poblano pepper. Hmm. Stick around. Very much a family atmosphere, uh, family friendly and, and laid back, casual. If you're looking for a truly unique entertainment experience, look no further than Bowl and Barrel, Dallas only modern American restaurant and tavern complete with 15 state of the art bowling lanes. Whether it's a casual date, a private party, or a corporate event, Bull and Barrel is a great way to spend an afternoon or evening and the place everyone will be talking about the next day. Great food, great drinks, and great bowling. What are you waiting for? Let's roll. Bull and Barrel, 8084 Park Lane, Dallas. Welcome back to Local Fair. Our third and final stop this week is in walking distance of Baylor Hospital. Juicy, fall-apart burgers are exactly what the doctors order at Stackhouse. Hi, my name is Randy Keenest. I'm an owner and operator here at Stackhouse Burgers, located at 2917 Gaston Avenue, Dallas, Texas. Stackhouse is a chef-driven, quick-serve burger joint. Our chef, James Rose, is from Bob's Steak and Chop House, so we do a pretty mean burger. Our blend of beef is unique. I think that's very important to the flavor. And then the fact that we have the chef specials 
You can come here and not just get a burger, you can get anything from a meatball sandwich to a fish sandwich. The location is very unique. I think it's unlike anything in Dallas that, that I'm aware of with the view we have of downtown Dallas, the old building backing up to the Meadows Foundation. It's just a very relaxed atmosphere. I think you're gonna be surprised uh, if you come in here at the quality of everything. Okay, Maura, you chose Stackhouse. I and I know you liked Kenny's, but you also like Stackhouse. Tell us why I you do. like that one. Well, I love a good burger. I'm not gonna lie. And a coworker had talked highly about Stackhouse, so I ventured down. It's down by Baylor Hospital, and in my mind, I thought it was gonna be in an old little strip, just kind of, I don't know. I, I had bad premonition of what I was going for and was pleasantly surprised. It was a cute little old house. Um, with lots of patio and outdoor dining. The first time I went was in the summer when it was really, really hot. Mm -hmm. um, we were able to sit outside in August at 5.30 in the afternoon. They have so many misters and fans. Really? And yeah. these really big trees that cover this patio up on the second floor of this house that kind of looks out to downtown Dallas. Mm -hmm. Fantastic view. It was a yeah. great, oh, yeah. it was just such a surprise. Uh, the burgers, it was, it was the best burger I've ever had. Uh Wow. Yeah. I mean, That's it really was. Really when I went, um, I noticed that the inside was kind of small, mm -hmm. but the outside, the patio is awesome. And it was raining, so we couldn't sit on the patio. Inside was packed. So I went up the stairs and around the corner and kind of found this little covered patio with couches and chairs. And like you said, you know, you've got the trees out there. You've got a great view of downtown. It kind of felt like we were eating in our own little treehouse upstairs with the rain falling. It, it was is. so cool. And there's televisions. It's a great place to watch a cowboy game, a ranger game. There's yeah. televisions <laughs> everywhere inside and outside. Because when you see that area, you don't necessarily think of, hey, great patio. No, so that's, yeah. so is this a lunch or a dinner place typically? Or either? I mean, is it, when do you want a burger? Yeah. yeah. When do you want a burger? When don't you want a burger? <laughs> when do you want a burger? Honestly, right? Yeah. Yeah. You need a nap after large meals because they fill you up there as well. Tell me about the burger. What makes it good? And the fried egg on top doesn't necessarily sound appealing. So I, need I to can't do a that. fried egg on top. My f <laughs> the best part is though, when you, you order at the counter and when the girl just standing there says pink or done, that, yeah. Which you know yeah. then they're going to cook it the way, you hope they're going to cook it the way you want it, and they do. The fried egg was perfect on our burger. We, uh, we, both, we got two different burgers. I got mine with smoked provolone, which was a unique thing on the menu I had to have, caramelized onions, and then a fried egg. Mm -hmm. And usually when you get a fried egg, you don't know if it's going to be runny. Because right, I, yeah. I don't want a dry egg on my burger. Okay. And cut into it, yolk spilled everywhere. It was a fantastic perfect. burger. Mm. Yeah. Nice. And the French fries. I'm ask, not a huge French yeah. fry oh, fan. Yeah. They're some of the best fr fresh cut French fries. And I mean, it, the order is enough to share with a family of that four. Easily. And the onion rings were like more like onion strings. Yeah, just, just above shoestring onions uh -huh. and, and below normal quarter inch onion rings yes. as well. They were no. interesting and, and quite good. Delicious. Uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> now, if you're not a crazy burger person, um, you can still go get. A, a hefty size macaroni and cheese. Their oh macaroni, God. I know, everybody <laughs> just, whoa. The macaroni and cheese, um, I got it as my side. It was a whole nother meal. I ended okay. up taking it home and it lasted me for, you know, another meal the next day. But it was so cheesy and it delicious. It was described to me as epic. It and that is and the word, best word yeah. ever. Get out of here. Nice, I mean, it had a crust you had to crack to get into. Yes. Uh, so that's that's great. a good sign. So everybody obviously had the macaroni yeah. and cheese, it sounds yeah. like. Well, I, I went and I ordered as much food as possible because I wanted to try everything. <laughs> we did the same thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and the the server there was laughing at me, saying, you have no idea what you just got yourself into. <laughs> it's going to last so, you yeah, only yeah. food. So we started with the chips and dip, which are kind of interesting. Homemade chips, uh, fried and back, covered, crumb, uh, crumbled blue cheese, and then a Ooh. French onion dressing, which was really good as well. That sounds great. Yeah. I, wow. We needed several to-go boxes, though. Now, what about, do they do dessert there, or is it mainly just... We had the oatmeal pie. Uh -huh. The oatmeal oh, pie was about... This yeah. big? It, it's, it's yeah. The fits same the container that the macaroni and cheese comes in, which is about that big, yeah. they do a carrot cake in also. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All right, let's rate this one, okay? I know you chose it. I'll, I'll give it a five because I chose it. Excellent. <laughs> All right, Colin. I'll give it a four. Okay. I'll give it a four as well. All right. It sounds good. Yeah. Value every. It's a decent good value. value. Yeah. Great one, value. One meal goes a long way, so you can have lunch and, and dinner the next night as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Delicious. Okay. Another mm -hmm. great choice. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Coming up after the break, Kyle and I will sum up today's visits and give you a taste of what's brewing for next week. Don't go away.
If you're looking for a truly unique entertainment experience, look no further than Bowl and Barrel, Dallas only modern American restaurant and tavern complete with 15 state-of-the-art bowling lanes. Whether it's a casual date, a private party, or a corporate event, Bull and Barrel is a great way to spend an afternoon or evening and the place everyone will be talking about the next day. Great food, great drinks, and great bowling. What are you waiting for? Let's roll. Bull and Barrel, 8084 Park Lane, Dallas. All right, Kyle, so I learned about 20 feet. I love that. I don't know if you heard the story about the dogs and the, the people. That's how they got their names. We talked seafood, we talked steak, we talked burgers, and we talked mac and cheese today. They all went crazy for mac and cheese. I, I do think mac and cheese, everybody has that, that, that mac and cheese that they love, and it sounds like we, we picked a winner here. I don't know, do you ever make mac and cheese at home? I have tried, and it cost me to do it right about $60 in the cheese and right. the brie and, the, yeah. It's Without hard. the package stuff, it's actually hard. doing yes. it right. It is yes. hard, it is hard. The creaminess, mm -hmm. the pasta being cooked right, but the, the, what, what they commented on was the crust. The top, and that's yes. what I love about a good mac and cheese is that crust when you break that fork in there and you, you hear the crunch, that's where it's that's golden. That's it, yeah. that's it. It sounds like Stackhouse has that one too. Stackhouse nails it. All right, so it seemed like the places that they chose, all pretty decent sized portions that you got. You know, with Kenny's, they were talking about the, you can do a steak sandwich or you can do, you know, ribs, and then we had the big burgers and everything. Seafood, I think that was decent sized portions as well. But. Well, you know, when we uh, had a little economic downturn a couple of years ago, the restaurant industry as a whole, the, the, the marching cry was value, 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 value. And um, when you, no matter what price point you are, if you can deliver a lot of food and qual a quality product, the consumer sees value and, and responds to that. Sure. Um, and all of these places did that very well. Did, and, and, and it's no surprise that the scores I noticed were, were very high. Yeah, Probably we had a couple highest, fives. Yes, yes, which is awesome to see. And um, you know, one of the coolest things is, is a lot of them, uh, like 20 feet seafood, it's fairly new. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's exciting to see these new little mom and pop joints pop up and get a lot of rave reviews, a lot of consumers coming through the doors and, and really uh, champion the cause of the little, the little local mom and pop place. Yeah, and I think like you said, value was the biggest key on this one for sure for everybody. Value, value. And crunchy mac and cheese, that's the best. <laughs> and crunchy mac and <laughs> right. cheese, all right Kyle. Next week on Local Fair, we visit three more of Dallas Fort Worth's hot spots for lunch and dinner, all suggested and reviewed by viewers just like you. And don't forget, we're always looking for guest reviewers. And if you'd like to sit at our table, visit our website at localfairdfw.com and click on Be a Guest Reviewer. That's all for this week. Thank you for joining us, and get out and enjoy the local fair. <laughs>